Hey YouTubers, this is Rob Muffet. Today we're going to make a real simple project. It's just a simple hydrophone. Um, I've been making hydrophones for years. In fact, I make one that you can listen to stuff with it uh, that I, I have online. I'll have some links down below. But this is one where you're going to be recording with it. You won't be able to listen directly. It's just going to be a jack you hook into an audio recorder. It's real cheap to make and it'll go to 25 feet. Um, I'll have links to the material used if you want to buy the, the uh, cord or the microphone that I used. Or you could see the videos that I've made before on how to make other hydrophones. But let's get started. You're going to be uh, using um, a PVC cutter or a saw to cut your PVC, a hot glue gun, a piece of PVC about 3 quarter inch uh, length, and it's half inch PVC half inch diameter and a balloon that you can get at a dollar store and a cable tie some scissors a piece of cardboard then you're going to need your actual microphone and I purchased these six of them or three of them were for six bucks on Amazon they were really cheap so they cost about two dollars a piece they're not very high quality but if you just want to get started making hydrophone to see if you have anything worth listening to this is something you could use and uh, then you're going to need an extension for your microphone and that's about 25 feet was about six bucks also on Amazon about six or seven bucks and then to hook into to record I use a uh, Olympus recorder and I buy them used on eBay they're really inexpensive about 20 bucks the fastening or not fastening but the good thing about the Olympus is it has a voice activated feature so you could leave your recorder going for 24 hours and it, if there's no noises it won't record anything but if there is it will so you don't have to listen to the whole tape for 24 hours it'll just record during the period of time when there was something uh, going on where there was sound so it's a very good feature that's what you want to use with your hydrophone the next thing is some ballast I just use some little nuts and that's it for the raw material let's get started you're just going to cut off a piece of PVC about three quarter inch length of your half inch PVC cut a little small piece of cardboard to go over the end put a slot in the cardboard then slide the cord of your microphone into the cardboard and attach it with some hot glue and then uh, put the collar over the other end of your microphone and slide down and attach it with hot glue and then start filling up the center of your PVC with hot glue and add some ballast like I said I use some little nuts and then let it set let it harden and then take off the foam uh, uh, protector that's used to, to keep the wind off your microphone. You won't be having much wind on it when it's underwater, I hope. <laughs> and uh, then next is the hard part of uh, putting on the balloon. And once you're done with that, just put your cable tie on and you're all done. If you don't have enough ballast, it doesn't sink as well, you can put another uh, weight on on the outside with a, with a large uh, washer. So guys, this is how to make a really quick hydrophone that'll go to 25 feet deep and it only costs about nine bucks and I've got several videos of some other hydrophones I made that don't record but you can listen to they have an amplifier and a mic that only cost a few dollars also guys I hope this something helps you uh, out and uh, something fun for you to make and I put new stuff on every week got over 400 videos a lot of different playlists and I got some really cool people I feature on my channel too you might want to check them out and I put on new stuff every week. And like I said, I've got links to the stuff on Amazon if you want to get the cords. And links to my videos. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching and uh, see you next week.